Hi friends, this is Lokesh Govantla. Today we are going to discussing about the correct frame of features. It is basically understanding for the Greek language. The users can easily to understand the simple three words. It's a given, when, then. Given is basically what we are going to give. Then, when is basically what kind of method we are going to use. Then is what kind of response you want to get. Like given, you are giving to the some google.com. Uh, when is the method is a get or post or what kind of method you are going to pass. Then is basically what kind of response you want, like a status like 200 or 201 or 400, 403, 404, like that. What kind of response you want? Those values it is basically it is giving. These simple words we can easily to understand for the non-programming users and they can easily to build their skill. And it requires a no technical programming language like Java. Because these three things is enough for them to write the program, not required for any Java programming language techniques, just a simple words, a given when then. It is basically popular Kukumba standards. Karate framework by they built using the Kukumba standard framework. In the Kukumba framework, there are two kind of things are there. One is BDD, another one is TTD frameworks. In this BDD framework, this Karate framework using and they developed the Karate framework. Parallel execution, the functionality by default it is having the Karate framework and it's basically using for the Marvin and Gradle projects. It dependencies by default like you are, we are going to a normal Selenium program we are going to use for the jars. The same way Marvin having the some dependencies, the same how the Marvin is working, the Gradle also working the same way, but it is easy to import uh, import the dependencies. And UI debugging also we have. In the Karate framework, we can use that Karate framework, we can use the debugging to the test. And calling the futures files, like one future file to another future file, we can easily to call. Providing the data driven testing framework by default, it is heavy. We have no need to depends upon any dependency we don't want to create. Because Karate framework by default, it is having the data driven framework. It is a REST report because see in case uh, imagine if you are going to use a REST Azure or any other languages or any other framework, the framework don't have any inbuilt or reporting tools. But Karate framework ha having the inbuilt, it is having own own reporting tool. No need to import any things. The class this is the supporting uh, configuration, different testing environments, QA stage, pod, pre, any environment we can able to test using this Karate framework. It is CI, CD integration test case can be useful. It is having the HTTP calls, WebSocket support, a SOAP request, HTTP, and browser cookie handling, HTTPS, HTML form, data or XML request. These call things can be supported for the Karate framework. This is all about the Karate uh, features. And if you like this video, please like my video and please comments and please share if you like this video to share your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you.